Hey what's up it's Philip and welcome back to another video. Today we are creating a realistic lighting with HDRI backdrop so let's start. First of all delete everything over here in the details panel. Just hit delete. The next step is to go to edit plugins and enable HDRI drop and make sure to restart now. After restart go over here type in HDRI and just drag and drop this HDR drop here. In location, make sure to reset everything to zero. You can see in the outline here, everything shows up again. If this happens, make sure to delete everything except the HDR backdrop. Now go and add post process volume, drag it to the level, select it, type in infinite and select this infinite extent unbound to cover the whole level, not just this box. And you can type in exposure metering mode to manual and exposure compensation how you like it. Select HDR backdrop again and change the size for example to be 10,000. Drag your mesh, lock this and make this 10 times bigger and position to be center, focus it and now go back to your HDR backdrop as you can see it's a little bit dark and change the intensity over here to be 2 or 5 for example. If you need lots of HDRIs that are free, you can go to Polyhaven Assets HDRIs and download them here. I downloaded one, so I'll import it now. Just drag and drop it to your content folder. Select HDR break drop in the menu and drag and drop it over here that says cube map. And you will immediately get a different uh, result. To make this better, you can also add some fog. So just add exponential high fog, drag it to the level, fog density to be one and fog in scattering color to be white. And now you can always play with the intensity over here. If you want to add some lights, you can always add directional light, drag and drop it to the level, press F11, hold control L and move your light around. If you don't want to see your uh, HDR drop, but you want the light to affect it, you can always select HDR backdrop, go to the geometry, type in visible and deselect this true. And now you can see that HDI backdrop affects your scene, but you don't see the mesh, which is super, super nice. And this is it from this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you like this video, uh, drop some comments below and subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.